Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Kick off December. Gotta love it. Futures contracts, folks, they're rolling out until 2020. Check it out. Always do your best. Express your own divinity. You don't need to, the acceptance of others. You don't need knowledge or great philosophical concepts. You have the right to be you and express your own divinity by being alive. Loving yourself and loving others. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 218. NASDAQ is off 88. S&P's down 25. Gold contract down $3.40 trading at 1462 an ounce. We have silver down 12 cents, $16.84 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 86 cents. $56.03 a barrel, notes and bonds. You get the 10-year down 12 ticks, 128.31. 30-year off a full point, plus 12 ticks, 157.20. And king dollar. King dollar down 440 ticks, trading at 97.833. The euro is at $1.10. The yen is at 108. And the pound is at 129 to 1 U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so we make all-time highs last Wednesday before Thanksgiving holiday. Bottom line, we make that all-time high in the SPY with the 44 million shares. We all were going up for quite some time with the volume contracting. Bottom line is that, um, you know, you're up there. What do we have today? You're coming down. You're coming down with volume. Bottom line, we'll see whether you get any follow-through. Uh, you know, this run here... Uh, this has been a non-stop run, folks, since October 3rd. We are at 284 October 3rd. Uh, the only time that you actually did, and this is this was the heads up, actually. We had made an all-time high on November 19th with 67 million. You sold down with 79. Okay, pretty pretty dramatic sell down. Not on price, but you had large operators pushing product out. We'll see whether we get any follow-through on, on this one here. Bottom line, right now, you do have a contraction on price, and you get an expansion on volume. Into the NDX 100, we have the same setup inside the NDX. NDX 100 right now is trading at 202, the, the, uh, the Q's rather, 202.95. Same type of setup. We made a high last Wednesday out here at 17 million. You get 22 million on the way down. Small caps. Now, the small caps... They have topped, they topped out July of 2018. That being said, they made a nice little run for themselves. Uh, bottom line is that they got over the consolidation that they've been trading in for, I believe, yeah, since uh, October of 2018. Uh, the top of that consolidation, 161.10, and guess what? They just gave it up in spades. We're at 160.08 inside the IWM. And that brings you inside the lower range again. That means that the lower range is game once again down as 144. So you get a lot of moving parts out here. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? Gold contract right now rejected lower price out here today. We pushed forward last week after we rejected lower price. So the way that the gold metals, physical metals set up, it looks to me like we want higher price. The equities have already started moving, okay? Uh, bottom line is that whether you go look at the uh, GDX out here, uh, whether you, you basically uh, look at just about any of the gold equities, if you go look at the nugget, the direction, 300% um, leverage product, you'll see that thing already moved, you know, from last week from $25 to twenty seven seventy six, and it has volume behind the move. So the equities were moving first. Now what we have is that on Friday, we basically we did uh, 272,000 contracts, big contract volume. You, you're doing 298 today. It looks to me that that thing's going to go topside. And it's going to be all about the U.S. dollar. There's no two ways about this. And when we take a look at the U.S. dollar, um, now we don't have volume on the dollar, folks. Okay, this is the do I, I use the dollar spot index. And what, the reason there's no, volume is not consistent in currencies because there's so many different platforms too by the way that's how that really that's how that does work uh that being said this is wide price spread out here today you know we went from 98 376 to 97 811 
That sets up the bottom of the consolidation, which is 97,141. You break that bottom of the consolidation, and what you could, uh, well, we break that consolidation, and then you would be down into the 95, uh, 96 area, which we haven't been in quite some time. And I suspect what that most of that was about is that you had uh, Trump come out this morning and uh, tweet that the, the well, did not tweet, the Lighthouse put tariffs on uh, Brazilian, Argentinian, and, and Argentina uh, steel as well as aluminum. And that wasn't what I would say hit the dollar. What, what hit the dollar is that that was wrapped inside um, basically an attack on the Federal Reserve, our Federal Reserve, uh, saying that uh, bottom line that rates are still too high, number one, and that he felt that the reason the tariffs are going on is that they are basically letting their currency depreciate, and that's hurting our farmers. Bottom line, folks, okay, strong dollar hurts farmers, period. <laughs> There's no, no doubt about that. The real question is going to be, uh, is this going to be a currency war that's coming up next? And uh, we'll see. If it's ever a currency war, man, let me tell you something. You better get out of the way. Uh, because, as I said many times, just taff wars in themselves, you know, you start a war, you forget what it's about, you go into it six months a year, and then there's always something else. It's, it, it's just, that's how wars go in general, right? Currency war, that's a whole different animal, man. That's a whole different animal. Why? Because so many large corporations depend on stable currencies, stable, you know, and, and most of the time what does happen is this, is that when currencies move, folks, they do move for long periods of time in a trending aspect. There's, there's no two, two ways about that. So if we go over, and I was talking about the real last week. I was talking about the real because, and this, 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 my, my take is that this doesn't have to do with, they didn't do this on purpose, believe me. Um, the rail has been getting devalued for a long period of time. When we brought this up, uh, we're at 420 to one U.S. dollar. You know, you go back to 2018, you're at 350. You know, big, big number, no doubt about that. Dow, Dow Industrials down 221. We get NASDAQ off 89, S&P's off 26. Stay right there, folks. Come back with our man, Mr. Dave Mazda, head of products at Direction Shares. Come right back.